Broadcasting from the Golden Spread of Texas, this is The Fred Hughes Show. With each episode, we introduce to you an inspiring person or message to help you grow and unlock your potential in life. I'm Fred Hughes, professional photographer, pastor, teacher, author, and your show host. Thank you for joining us and welcome to this episode brought to you by the Faithful Partners of Decision Ministry. Welcome. This is Fred Hughes, and we are doing our regular Thursday night uh, live cast right now. And uh, you can see on the screen already, I have a guest with me tonight, and I'm excited about uh, having Ron Anslow, and maybe even his wife might pop in at some point in time, but uh, she's standing by just in case he gets in trouble. <laughs> But we're just uh, we're just excited about ha having him on tonight because uh, we we met long ago in Woodland, Colorado, and uh, we were both at an Andrew Mowamick uh, Ministries, and we had lunch together after uh, one one afternoon, and we just uh, we have just kind of kept in touch over the years, and so we love you know I, I, a lot. We have a, a lot of people that kind of come out of the Andrew Andrew. We I call us androids, so. We like we like people that that come out of that vein because it's just uh, it, it's just it's just solid, and that's what um, you see a lot of my guests that uh, that have some connection to that or are very familiar with uh, Andrew Womack Ministries. And so, uh, if you have uh, any want to to go to a good Bible school, we we always recommend Karis Bible College. It's a, it's awesome. And so with that said, I'm going to uh, do just a little bit of housekeeping before we get get going. Uh, if you happen to live in the Amarillo area, we're here on March the 11th. We are having a um, Glory Now meeting, which is uh, sponsored by our ministry, Decision Ministry. And you can go to our website, decision, the word decision, the numeral one dot O-R-G, decision one dot O-R-G. Find out the details there. And while you're there, there's all kinds of videos and uh, podcasts and just all kinds of good stuff to look in on. Um, we keep a, we also keep a voting guide in, uh, in, in place. And so there's lots of there's a lot to look at there. Uh, we have some downloads that are nice. Uh, we have my wife wrote a book that uh, kind of is about these um, how to how, how to stay on top of things during one of these serious times we're kind of in right now, and uh, it was kind of more centered on the COVID uh, thing. But uh, nevertheless, there's, it's a really good writing. It's a free download. And so uh, avail yourself of that. You can also take our our little regular newsletter that comes in there. Uh, and I have another little block in there that tells you about my little children's book that I've written, and uh, it's it's phenomenal. And uh, if you know some kids, it's awesome. Get them one. And uh, if one of the things, one of the reasons I wrote the thing was because I was looking in the public libraries, and they have every agenda imaginable to throw at kids that's wrong. And my book, if you would, you know, if, if, if you really want to touch some children, go buy two or three of those and put them in your local library and let that let that reach into your community. Let at least put one good choice in there for somebody to pick up. Uh, it teaches them to look inside. It's called Mr. Fred's Box. And uh, it teaches you to look inside that you always have gifts that are built into you. That, and you always have a gift that you can give away to people. There's nine of those gifts, and uh, they follow along with kind of scripturally. And uh, but they're like you can always give somebody a smile, you can always give somebody a hug. And there's, like I said, nine of them. So it's a really good deal. And, and when I was writing it, I, I noticed that children. Um, I mean, in in the house, there's there's several ages of children. So. I have it to where there's little birds and animals to look at and lots of pretty colorful things to look at. And so for the little baby, little guys, they can look at the pictures and have fun. For the next level up, or you read just the words that are in color. And you can read the whole book with just the words that are in color. 
and then you can go back for the next level up. You, it, you can read the whole text. And then at the top of the rung, it's actually a beginning reader level. So the older kid can read to the younger kid. And so it really stretches out a pretty good gap wise as far as being able to reach different ages, kids and everything. So I'm proud of it. I, it's not real expensive, but it is kind of cool. You can find it on Amazon. There's a link there at the, at the website, decision1.org. So with that and uh, all out of the way, we have somebody all the way down sitting somewhere in Florida in an undisclosed uh, situation down there. Um, <clears throat> we don't we don't know the, what what did, what disclosure we can give, but Ron and his wife are sincerely tucked away in Florida, just battling the the you know. I have a friend that used to live up in Colorado, and he'd call me every once in a while, and he'd say, "Man, we went." Four wheeling this morning, and I've caught several, you know, uh, fish this afternoon. And uh, we have some friends coming over to cook steak this afternoon. He said, "Man, it's a rough life, but somebody's got to do it." So I have a feeling Ron and his wife are participating in such a thing as that. <laughs> so, Ron, without further ado, I want to just uh, introduce you as, as my friend, and I want to just uh, let you give 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 my our audience a little bit of an idea of where they can get a hold of you and um, make some contact, and then take your liberty, my friend. Sure. Thank you so much, Fred. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, everybody on Facebook in the Zoom meeting. The book, uh, the child's book is needed we know that the children are under siege right now and the need to get those books and you need to get them in hands of your children and read them before bed bedtime stories so this way when they are attacked in their mind which they are through schools and cancel culture and all this craziness that's going on around them i wouldn't even put them in public schools anymore i would homeschool them myself and uh, that's what I, I, I tell everybody that it answers, but the book that you have is a must have. Now, I just want to thank everybody for coming here tonight. The Lord has a very special message for you because he's in love with you. Amen. He loves you. Wow. And how do you keep in the love of God? It says in Jude chapter 20, by praying in your most holy faith, praying in tongues. Amen. Some of you might not have heard that before, but get, Fred was talking about gifts. Now, everyone has gifts that are born again, but are we using them? And the way that we can use them, where we're going to start today is in Ephesians 2 8. I love. Ephesians 2 a it's the staple it's the starting factor of everything that you are you see it's for by grace you have been saved through faith and not of yourselves it was a gift of God At least no one should boast I mean I tried to be good enough as a, a Catholic boy and I knew I was going to hell because I thought God was very angry at me I thought that I was never going to make it. I didn't have a father. Matter of fact, they told me that God took my father at seven years old. You want to make a young boy mad? You tell him something like that. And, and it, it stuck with me for a long time until, I, until one day I screamed out at the top of my lungs on the top of a mountain, where are you, God? Where are you? And all of a sudden, the presence of God showed up. I never really understood this presence because he used to show up time after time and he shows up around you. He's always there. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. He is pursuing you. He's pursuing to have relationship with you. The king of all kings. So that makes you blessed. That makes you highly favored and deeply loved by the one, the creator of the universe, the one that lives on the inside of every born again believer. He lives on the inside. Well, how do you get it from the inside, this anointing to the outside? Well, Peter had somewhat of what his word says. He said, grace and peace be multiplied to you by, through the knowledge of of the, of, of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we need more knowledge on who we are. 
It says in Ephesians 2 8, the word says. Now, the word is powerful when the word is spoken and it's the gospel. He'll watch over that word to perform it. So expect tonight. Expect good things to happen to you. Expect to receive your healing. Expect to hear his voice. Expect to be and pulling those gifts from heavenly places. Amen. So before, by grace, you are saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it was a gift of God. I said, the first time I heard this is, you mean you gave me the grace and the faith to get saved before I was saved? And all I heard was, I love you. And I said, wow, so you gave me the grace. Without the grace and without the faith, I couldn't get saved. He says, it even gets better. He says, that is my faith. And that is my grace that I gave you. You mean the same grace and the same faith? I got it. The same grace and the same faith I use for everything else? Yes. For To get healed? Yes. It says, when I was saved, I was zoso, right? Zoso mean in the Greek, S-O-S. Amen. We did an S-O-S. Lord, we raised our hands and surrendered to the Lord. And Lord, save me. Amen. It, it, could, it could have been the thief on the cross experience. It could have, you could have repeated a prayer, a short prayer. But it's by grace. You have been saved through faith and not of yourselves. It was a gift to God, least no one should boast amen so it is that um it is that saving grace that saved us when you were saved you were his spirit came on the inside of your spirit he wrapped wrapped his spirit around your spirit this is the only way i can explain it one third perfect at that point as jesus is so are you right now, as soon as you said, Lord, save me, Lord, I surrender, Lord, come into my life. You became exactly like Jesus inside your spirit. Amen. Just like he is. So that means you were saved from the wrath to come because you accepted that grace and faith to get saved. And you, you and, and it was voice activated, just like your faith is voice activated. You confessed with your mouth and you believed with your heart when you said, Lord, save me from this. And you were saved. Amen. So not only were you saved, salvation came, but you were also healed. You were also set free, delivered and prospered. You are just like Jesus is inside your spirit so it's for by grace you have been saved through faith and not of yourselves it was a gift of god least no one should boast amen so inside your spirit you have the power of god just like jesus just like jesus spoke in the beginning let there be light you can also speak and have what you say. And Mark 11, 23 and 24 would explain that. You just need to take that same faith, that same grace that you got saved. You can multiply it by getting more knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ that you are delivered. You don't need to be delivered no more. You are already been delivered. Amen. What you need is you need to have Romans 12 to occur you need to transform yourself your mind by renewing your mind in the word of god by meditating on it day and night doing all that it says within it then you will make your ways prosperous and be filled with success folks these are laws of grace and laws of faith that are a completed work it's completed by Jesus. When Jesus said it was finished, it is finished. What is finished? Everything that he came to accomplish for us. So we get to pick up where he finished. Now, he said, when you, you go lay your hands on the sick, they shall recover. Do you believe that? 
Put your hands towards the camera right now and believe God with me and believe with the same faith that God told the faith that he gave you to get saved. Put your hands up towards the camera right now and we speak to infirmities to leave in the name of Jesus. Pain leaves body. Things have to go in the name of Jesus. They cannot stay no longer. So this is who you are. You are the king's kid. You are an exact representation like Jesus inside your born again spirit. So it is by grace you were saved through faith and not of yourselves. It was a gift of God. And we can't boast about, well, we did this ourselves. We were good enough. Um, you know, I walked uh, quite a few people across the street, elderly people I give to the poor. It, the, this grace and this faith, getting saved, you don't have to do anything for it. You get to do these things. You get to lay your hands on the sick. You get to speak the gospel to someone that is hurting, that needs to be saved. Amen. So with that, I'd like to, again, just invite you to receive your first love, the one that loves you. He's been pursuing you. He's not going to stop. He won't stop until you tell him. But don't do that. What you want to do is learn out, learn who he is. He's loving. He is kind. He is gentle. And he wants to tell you what he made you for. He wants to, like Fred was talk, talked about, the gifts. He wants to multiply these gifts inside of your life. He wants you to be successful. He wants you to be wealthy. He wants you soul to prosper. It says that in Third John 2. He calls you beloved. Beloved, I wish above all things, not just some things, everything above all things. He wishes above all things that you prosper and be in good health. And here's the key, even as your soul, your mind, becomes renewed in the word of God. So it's meditation. It's thinking on these things and shutting off all the unbelief. Sometimes you can get stuck on Facebook or stuck on some social network and the fire, the strange fire that comes through can bring an unbelief that will harden your heart and you can wax a little cold. So shut it off. Spend some time in the backyard or in your room or wherever you're comfortable with and spend time in, in the word of God with Jesus and talk to him. He's going to show you great and mighty things. He wants to give. He'll bless you every time that you come. Amen. Wow. I know that you received something here tonight. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is our friend. And he is the one that watches over the word to perform it. You're called for greatness. You are the greater one lives on the inside of you. He wants a relationship more than we do most of the time. But we just need to shut off the unbelief. Amen. And the natural the natural abilities. Hey, you have to eat sometimes and you have to do these natural things sometimes. I'm not saying those type of natural things, but I'm just saying is that when the word of God is when it's in your heart and planted inside of your heart, when trouble comes, you will say the word says, and you will stay right there on that word until that word will manifest inside the natural. You know, the righteous go through many troubles. But the last time I heard, he delivers us from them all. Where was those last troubles that you had? They're gone. Amen. Because he loves you so much that he, he, he blasts those troubles out of the way. But you have to turn off the unbelief. Turn off the news. Turn off. Cut your TV off. Cut it off. You know, and, um, you know, I, I heard and the Lord was telling me back in 2018, he says, Ron, I want you to warn people about the strange fire that's going to be coming through their TV sets and through the internet. 
And so I used to tell them and they used to snicker and they would snicker. And I was like, okay, Lord, this strange fire, where is it coming from? I didn't realize and I didn't understand that they were, that they were using the internet to, to brainwash people, amen, to separate people. So this way you'll start focusing on the things that are on the earth instead of the things in heaven. Colossians chapter three. You know, one time I was so dull that God sent an angel to me down in Times Square Church. And this angel, he didn't have wings. He had a three-piece suit. He only stood about five foot four, five foot six. And he had a beautiful blue eyes and, and glowy white hair. But you couldn't, he had a three-piece soiled suit. His shoes were a little big. And <laughs> he scuffled up to us and he said to me and I knew it was the glory of God this man had something I thought he was a man at first and he goes think of things in heaven not on earth and he said it three times oh that must be something important because every time God says something three times the company I was holding jumps in behind me and this person walks away takes around eight steps towards the road and disappears that was a, in Colossians chapter three. If you don't, you can have everything else that's in Colossians chapter three. And man, that that is some bad stuff that if you don't start focusing on the word of God and thinking of things in heaven instead of earth, those other things can grab and wax you. So what we have today is that we have to stay single-minded on the word of God, so we can pull that power of the anointing on from the inside of you to the outside so you can see mountains move. And you're going to, you're going to see, you're already seeing, you're seeing creative miracles, you're seeing miracles, you're seeing the dead, you're hearing about this at least, you're hearing that the dead is raised and the blind eyes are seeing, people are jumping up and doing what they exactly should do. Amen, is go and make disciples. Amen. If I could just tell you to just pick up a book, pick up Fred's book, the, the book, or we have a book too. Also Fred's book, the child, the, the book for children is a great book. And hopefully we'll, he'll put it up on our site so we can actually get a link to that book. But we also have another book that's free tonight. And you can go and pick up this book. This book uh, is 30, about 35 years of, of what I've been through in a short, thin book. And this book here is for discipleship. There's three pamphlets in that book that explains what happened when I received Jesus, why water baptism is essential for salvation, and how to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and how to keep in the love of God. It's all basics. It's all, it's all salvation basics. It's, it's necessity. Uh, the, 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 you know, uh, the other, uh, so, so pick up this book, pick up this book today. It's free to you all. It's to the body of Christ. You could use this book to keep yourself in a 30 day devotional. It says, you know, how you be, become a disciple and stay a, dis a disciple of Christ is by continuing in his word every day. So encourage one another, get together, get out of the house and get together and and uh, do the apostles' doctrine. Eat and break bread. Isn't that fun doing that? Breaking bread and uh, singing songs and praying for one another. Wow, that sounds like church to me, folks. So we need to get back to church and back to these meetings again. Fred, I just want to thank you for the opportunity to be able to share the gospel with the, your listeners. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, that's good, Ron, and we appreciate it. Listen, I want to just go back and touch base a, a couple of times. First, I, I don't want to leave the opportunity of getting the address to your book that you were talking about. Yes, sir. It's it's newidinme.com. It's like 2 Corinthians 5.17. It's, it's new, N-E-W, I, letter I, D, N, I, N. Me, M-E, dot com. When you go there, you there will be a pop-up. Just fill it out and receive your digital copy. Um, we have this book. It's all over the world. Um, Brother Andrew endorsed this book. It, it was it, this book was uh, 
it was a very unusual book. We just prayed in the spirit a lot. And it's a thin book, but it's very, very thick because it brings you into relationship with the King of Kings. Amen. I'm excited about it because I, I just downloaded it this afternoon and uh, I'm real excited about getting to it myself. So it's uh, it's really good. I'm writing a, another book and uh, that'll be out a little bit later on, but um, uh, avail yourselves of those things. We also have a hotline uh, that I want to mention tonight. There's uh, You can call in anybody that's watching or listening on the uh, podcast. Um, we try to keep people um, kind of manning that 20, pretty much 24-7. Um, it's only an American line. And uh, let me see if I can put that up on the screen for you. Um, that's the one thing I think I can do, maybe. Oops, nope, I went blank. How about okay, that right there? It's a prayer hotline, and it's uh, 806 is the area code, 338-2929. And they can speak to you in English or in Spanish. And uh, we have spirit-filled people that man those lines. They're all they're all filled with the Spirit. They can lead you into being receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit. They can lead you into salvation if that's what you need. Uh, they can direct you in the Bible to wherever you need to go to get some help. They can agree with you. Uh, in prayer, they're they're just dynamic. They're uh, we're so blessed to have these people uh, manning the phones right now, and so I just encourage you eight zero six three three eight twenty nine twenty nine, and that hotline is there uh, for you. It makes this a three dimensional. Uh, telecast here because uh ron and i are enjoying uh being the uh the, the second level but you're the third level and you're important and this is the way you can touch base with us and you can really uh plug in to the things of god and uh, and these people I, I assure you they're they're wonderful uh I remind you they can speak english or spanish either one so uh, just call that number 3, 3, 8, 806-338-2929. Uh, Ron, I, I wanted to go back and just touch base a couple of, uh, a couple of other things that, um, that I thought were just super dynamic. And, uh, there, you mentioned one scripture. It says it was, uh, John 4, 17. You said, as he is, the end of that verse says, as he is, that's Jesus that's talking about, uh, so are we in this world. And man, I mean, that's now. That's that's a now word. And how can this be? How can how can we be like Jesus? Well, when you get born again, when you pray that prayer and you get born again in your spirit, man, something is made new. You are giving, you are made a new creation. You were one thing, and now you're another. It's a metamorphosis that is spiritual. Amen. And it's just awesome. Uh, now, does our body and our soul areas need a little work? Yeah, but uh, we get all that a little later on. But one third of you is perfect, just like Jesus. Let me tell you, uh, if that were not so, God could not live in you because God can only dwell someplace that is totally, perfectly holy. That's the place. That's the, that's the heart he created in you. And it's as perfect as Jesus. It's, it will never be more perfect than it is right now. That's, that is just a mind-boggling scripture that I love to hear people preach about. That is the good news. I'm telling you, that is some very good news. Um, you know, uh, another scripture goes along and just says that God gives us power or the ability to become sons of God. That, that's, what, that's what it's talking about right there. And if you want to hear the way Jesus presented it, he presented it to Nicodemus in, in John chapter 3, verse 3, 5, and 7. He said, he said, unless if you want to see into the kingdom of heaven, you must be born again. 
That's verse three. In verse five, he says, unless you are born of the spirit and of water, that means you have to be qualified by being a human being and, and going through your mama's broken water <laughs> to get here. So you have to be a, a human being, but then you can be born from above as well. That's, that's born again. At the second time, Nicodemus says, how can this be? <laughs> <You know? laughs> and that's exactly what Ron said earlier. And man, I, I think that's just so powerful. And, and, and it concludes, it concludes with this. It says, if you want to enter the kingdom of heaven, you must be born again. There's just not any other way around it. Is there, Ron? No, sir. That's the way. We can, we can, I can end with this one. But I don't want to start again because it might. Oh, we're going to Second Go ahead. 17 is, is a staple um, uh, that we love. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation, a new creature. All mm. things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. Mm. We no longer have a sin nature. Our That's nature good. is just like Jesus is. Amen. <laughs> that is just so so incredible. It really, really is. Hey, listen, everybody, uh, go go to uh, newinme.com and download that book. You're going to like that. Com, free book. New Amen. New Identity Ministries. If you do, if you Google that, it'll come up with a whole lot of stuff. Diana has a Holy Spirit uh, search bar on there. If you put something in that search bar, it'll pop up with a teaching. Um, and awesome. so that's made for the body of Christ. That is your pamphlets, your book. It's for help you to disciple people to Jesus. Yes. That's awesome. That's awesome. So tell me your plans. What are you doing right now? What kind of uh, ministry are you two involved in? I know y'all do a regular uh, broadcast on on YouTube, and tell me more about your ministry. Okay. Um, what the Lord has us to do is to be still and know that he is God. Psalms 4610. When there's transition, there's always downtime. And he takes advantage of that downtime by, by sitting down and talking to us and showing us more dynamics in the word. And then he brings people like Fred along to invite us in certain spots. And certain, so we, we get invited. But most of all, there's a lot of hurting people just around you. There's people around your next door neighbors uh, 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 and, and this and this place here. Um, uh, we saw someone get raised from the dead here and people receive salvation and all just wonderful, wonderful things. So um, wherever you go, you are a blessing. Amen. Amen. I understand we do have a, a few churches that popped up in Pakistan and uh, Pastor Joseph. And then he runs those churches over there. I just got to uh, to help a little bit on um, orchestrating that. Uh, our church in New York, uh, people stopped coming. But, and, uh, and I said, well, then I, I guess I'm done here, Lord. And uh, he said, good job, son. And <laughs> so I, I yeah. had to get over that one. So I moved on. And the, church was, the church was without walls now. Yeah. And so that's so wherever we go. So we, 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 we go to other churches, too, and we'll participate there. Wherever we go, we, want to, we know that the Holy Spirit goes with us. And there's somebody. Amen. There's somebody that he wants to talk to, that he's been, he is so happy when Amen. you go and talk to somebody that he's been trying to talk to. He gets very excited. The Holy Spirit is there. The, all heaven you'll hear, start to hear <laughs> rejoicing because when that's, that's what it's about. It's about uh -huh. the harvest. It's about the, the ones in heaven. You're, the people that went before you, the great cloud of mighty witnesses are cheering you on. They want their sons and daughters with them. They no. can't do it now. They're cheering you on. You have to go bring them in and bring those sons and daughters in. Because, you know, I don't want I, I was there one time. And the, the question that I asked when I got back home, I said, Jesus, where were you? He goes, I was in inside of each and every person. And he gave me the scripture, 
as he is, so are we. we. It's when we lose our body, we have that same spirit goes to heaven. It takes a form. There's different laws there. But what they do want us to do and what was most valuable that I've learned up there was the harvest is ripe. And they sent me back to tell you that they want you to be with them. So receive Jesus tonight. Receive him as your Lord and Savior. He is a loving, kind God, and he wants to spend with you and your family. Amen. 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 You know, uh, one of the one of the things that uh, uh, just stirs me on is uh, the fact that as he is, so are we in this life. But also it it goes. uh, Paul said said it this way. He described it as um, he says, it's not me that lives, but Christ who lives in me. And so when you get born again, and especially then after that, you can be filled with the Spirit of God. And there's a difference between those two. And uh, it's not uh, being filled with the Spirit doesn't make you a better Christian than, than just somebody that's born again. That's not the point. The point is it enables you and it empowers you to advance the kingdom in a dynamic way. And so whenever whenever you look at that, you'd say, why would you not want everything that God has? And I know there's a lot of teaching and a lot of denominational things out there that that uh, says that all passed away. But I, I'm, I'm just telling you, Ron and I are both testifying to you. That's not true. What's true is the Bible. And, and it doesn't say it's passed away. We can go over to the pass away scripture and and. The, 13th chapter of Corinthians, and uh, I can just tell you, that's not what it's talking about. It didn't talk about <laughs> all, everything <laughs> passing away, because uh, both both Ron and I have seen the dead raised. I, we have laid our hands on, on people's eyes, and they opened. They were blind. I, I, I had opportunity to do this numerous times. Uh, I've seen that. I've seen uh, I've seen a pair of feet that were turned around completely, so deformed they were pointing the wrong way, pop back in place, and a lady ran over to the stage to testify and climbed up on it faster than I could get there, and took the the microphone and was just jumping up and down and thrilled with her new feet that had been re- completely restored. I, I'm just telling you, folks. There's there healing is for now. Everything God has provided for us. And you need to go back to Isaiah 53. Uh, the, 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 the gospel preachers said, um, if you preach any other gospel than what we preach, you're preaching really a heresy. Well, what gospel was it that they were preaching? Well, if you look at in, in the in the in the what we call gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, you'll find a place where, in I believe it's in Matthew, but it's but it's, uh, it's saying it's pointing back to uh, that day. That day, uh, I mean, the Isaiah fifty three, and Isaiah fifty three gives you three frames, three areas. That is that Jesus took uh, took our first. He if he's going to restore something, he started in the garden. And he did a work there. And that's where he dealt with all the mind, will, and emotion things. Joyce Myers wrote a book about the uh, renewing of the mind. But I'm just telling you, it's it's all three of those things. It's that soulish realm. That's where he dealt with the soul. Then he moved on to the whipping post. And by his stripes, we were healed 2,000 years ago. And then he moved on to the cross. And I'm not de-emphasizing the cross in any form, fashion, or way, but I'm just saying it was all three of those things. He, and we need all three of those things tonight, today. The, the salvation from our sin is very important, but so is healing in our body, and so is certainly the mind, will, and emotion, the torment, all of the, all of the crazy bombardment that the enemy does and I'm just telling you, a great 
portion of the body of Christ do not understand that, let alone the people that don't even know Jesus. And so I just encourage you to go to Isaiah 53 and find out really it's the best description of Jesus we have in, the, in all of the book, all of the Bible. And what, what Ron uh, was encouraging you to do was get born again. And that's, that's what happens. That's what he paid for. That's, uh, when you get born again, you get your sin problem taken care of, but you get so much more than that. And you, you have all of the things that God has provided for us. And so the first step is to be born again. And then visit with one of those people on the, on the telephone, that uh, number that I gave you, 806-338-2929. And uh, have them pray with you to get um, filled with the Spirit. And in that, you have the opportunity and the joy of being able to speak in tongues. It's not bad. It's good. <laughs> Amen, Ron? <laughs> Amen. Speaking in tongues without tongues, I, I would see my mind becomes unfruitful when I speak in tongues. So that book from uh, New Identity Ministries. Um, the Holy Spirit, uh, oh, yeah. it, it teaches you how to put yeah. your mind in neutral. So these strongholds and these imaginations that were put there by meditation in the wrong areas, it will pull down very quickly. So this way you can get right back into um, right back into a sound mind and then you can single mindedness have single mindedness happen to you. And it says here in first Peter two 24, which coincides with. Isaiah 53 and 54, which we are speaking about here. The word says, who his own self bared our sins in his own body on the tree. So he took care of that problem. Amen. Yeah. And that we being dead to sin, so we're dead now to sin. Uh, no longer does he remember that against us because he took care of it. Should live unto righteousness. No, there yeah. is the word righteousness. You have right standing with the King of Kings. Can we say this together? Can we say, I am. I am. The righteousness of God. The righteousness of God. Boom. In, <laughs> amen. We are. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Well, man, I tell you what, I love love that uh, the time that we got to spend together, Ron. We'll try to do it again down the road somewhere. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us on. We love you, Fred. Thank you so much. You bet. Hey, listen, if somebody wants to kind of support your ministry, give us a, give us a way for somebody maybe even to physically uh, support your ministry somehow. You got a mailing address or the website or something let's go to new identity ministries and uh to giving and uh right there mm -hmm. there's a place where you can you okay. can sow you can sow a seed there financially and um uh uh you all really helped out a lot of families throughout this time of of deception and COVID and sickness and and um there was hundreds hundreds and hundreds of families that were provided through by you and by your giving and these books got put in their hands too because everything on the site is amen, for free. amen. so amen. thank you again Fred. amen well take advantage of that folks because uh ministry is free but getting it places and getting things published are is not <laughs> so so we need and and the man of god's got to make it got got to have some way to go down and uh, and buy food for his family so uh just honor honor uh, those that uh, that you have around you and uh, those that you get ministered to just like you've been ministered to ron tonight uh don't be afraid of supporting the, uh, those ministries in fact uh, believe god for the ability, the Bible says that that we can we can actually ask Him to give us enough so that we can we can give to every good work. Can you imagine? There's a lot of good works out there, and wouldn't you like to be so uh, able that you could give never pass a good good work up, but to give to every single one of them? That's a worthy thing to believe God for. And so, so, and you can do that by just taking a step of doing what you can to what ministries that you are able to. 
So uh, let me just run, pray over everybody right quick as we say, say good night here. Father, thank you. Thank you for the partnership with Fred's ministry and the ministries here. That, Lord, the ones that do partner tonight and the ones that don't have seed, Father, that you'll give them seed to sow and bread to eat. Father, we thank you that you are prospering them and want to prosper them more. And I speak to every infirmity in your body and every sickness, every pain to go now in the name of Jesus. And if you need the baptism of the Holy Spirit, make sure you call that phone number. That is an awesome thing that we could do is have someone to talk to tonight. So it's up on our website. And uh, Fred, thank you again for having having us great hey all right well folks join us again next week um I, you're gonna hear yours truly next week and then the week after that i have an awesome i have i have a, a an awesome man of god that's gonna come on so we've got we've got several things lined up down the road and so we're looking forward to that we're gonna always have somebody in front of you that uh is able to to give you the encourage you and build you up in the faith and so uh, we just uh, we just signing off for now, and we just bless you and thank you. Share, push those little share buttons or whatever, and get us out there. The more that we have listening, uh, the the more the gospel is going out. And so share share us with uh, on your social media wherever you can, and uh, help us get the gospel out. That's that's our heart is to uh, share the good news of Jesus Christ with everyone. Ron, see you later. Good night, man. Thanks again. Good night, y'all. Love you. <laughs>